Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers and this morning I'm looking at a book which has come to us from Routledge. Uh, it's part of the Taylor and Francis group and it's called The Routledge Companion to Philosophy of Law and it's edited by Andre Marmor. Now, the book itself is a heavy book. It's this one here. You can see the front, there's the side and there are some nice little testimonials on the back. The book itself is, as I say, a heavy one. It runs to something approaching 600 odd pages. There are some very nice um, comments uh, in terms of the index, so you can find what you're looking for. The book itself is very much a narrative type of publication. There are no uh, footnotes um, and there are no paragraph numbering. But what we're looking at here is, uh, for instance, all of the detail that you want is actually at the back of each of the chapters. That, that particular chapter is on human rights. So you have references that you can see there and then further reading. So in fact, it makes it easier in some ways because all you do is you just read through the whole thing. For instance, the morality and law of war is an interesting area there. So you can just read through the whole thing with a structure, an, in, an introduction, the main stuff, and then all of the detail at the back. I'm very pleased with this book because I teach this subject and I find it very difficult with many students to try to put across some of the issues that we're dealing with. But what we're saying about this book is the following. For newcomers to the philosophy of law, um, an accessible, focused and thought-provoking study containing brand new material. And that is what the Routledge Companion to Philosophy of the Law is all about. What we say is the following, that there are 14 titles in the much acclaimed Routledge Philosophy Companions series. And this one is the latest. Certainly, this is the title that will confer maximum interest and benefit to students of law, and for that matter, experienced practitioners as well. Um, there are quite a lot of people who hate jurisprudence, and certainly the philosophy of law itself. It's a difficult subject to teach, and many people turn off very, very quickly. So this is a useful uh, discussion point for a lot of people because it goes beyond the very basic practical requirements. So under the able editorship of Professor Marmel from the University of Southern California, the book presents a compendium of learned uh, articles and essays by no less than 39 academics from a who's who of distinguished universities worldwide from, for example, the University of California uh, at Berkeley to Oxford and Cambridge. And the aim of the book is to provide, in our opinion, thoughtful, scholarly, precisely analytical, yet clearly expressed examinations of an amazingly wide range of jurisprudential issues which lie within the purview of philosophy of law, if you like. The publishers assure us that the content is entirely new and written specifically for newcomers to the field, for the undergraduate and the graduate uh, student in law and or related fields. And I think the book, therefore, is a boon, because we often need something that isn't absolutely tremendously long, but something where we can go straight to the particular issues we are addressing. Obviously, the the book itself covers the normal suspects, if you like, in jurisprudence. That's the nature of law, legal reasoning, theories of legal areas, uh, law as a cohesive uh, uh, order, moral obligations and rights and equality. I'm very pleased with this book because I think it's going to be of great assistance to people studying this subject at LLB level, certainly, and beyond. So if you are, in fact, a law student, um, this book will expand and clarify any number of issues for you, while enhancing your understanding of the subject matter itself, uh, which is often considered rather abstruse, I must say. Of course, my view is it's a lot of it's political rather than philosophical, but that's by the by. Even for the non-philosophers amongst us, the book contains much food for thought. So can I thank all the people involved under the editorship of Professor Marmor. Um, it's a very useful addition to what we have and all must be congratulated in turn. Thank you. Bye-bye.